A year ago, uh, this area faced one of the worst droughts in years. And what's very clear is that at that time, people were really struggling to survive. The form of uh, livelihood they had in the past is very much under threat. And it's become very clear from last year's drought that it's very difficult to survive um, as uh, pastoralists, uh, for instance. Things have really changed in this part of Kenya. Kenya as a whole, uh, the climate change has been a major issue, and especially in the arid areas. In the past, the, it was very easy to predict the weather patterns, and the weatherman was able to tell us when it's going to rain. That one is not uh, the case today. <laughs> The other big problem here is the lack of food. There are many people who are on the margins of starvation who are not getting help which is very alarming i've just been talking to uh, some of the mums who, who have said they can go for two days sometimes longer without food they're lucky if they get a meal a day so so it's a very difficult situation What's profoundly clear is that people have been incredibly resilient and have found ways of surviving and coping with what is totally beyond their control uh, and coping with the drought that has totally ruined their uh, livelihoods. And they're trying to find alternatives. marka <laughs> تركدي مركا من كوكو فرا عن هدنا إنجيم إنسانا ونشدال إن كوكو درا أنت على إنسانا لحتى نروح لح الجناسي بس كسر بحين تري بيرها صوت خردي ستين. It's clear to me that organisations like Islamic Relief, through their innovative ways of fundraising from different communities, from the public, uh, can make a huge difference in areas like this. There is so much more work that has to be done if these communities are to get stronger, to become independent, to become self-sufficient. They're, they're not asking for a lot, they're asking for the basic requirements to survive and to be able to cope with what has happened because of this drought. They are in this position through no fault of their own and I think that we in the international community need to make sure that our efforts are redoubled to support communities like the ones that I've met here.